Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. In this video today, we're going to be stepping away from drama, at least temporarily. We will definitely be covering the TSM situation more in depth. We will definitely be covering the LS situation more in depth, but you know, you can't really beat a dead horse. Sometimes you got to give it a couple days. You got to give it time um, for stuff to play out a little bit more, for stuff to flesh itself out. Um, and you know, I, I think I've done a good job of covering those stories to their fullest up until this point. There'll be more updates throughout the week. Um, but I do still have a, what I think is a pretty interesting and pretty good video to talk about today. This is going to be surrounding team liquid. Uh, it is still some news. It is still, um, something that I think is pretty, pretty interesting. I think team liquid fans will be excited about. Um, I think LCS fans should be excited about it. And, and people who are just fans of Western league of legends, like myself, you know, I'm generally lean towards being an LCS fan, but I want to see LEC teams do very, very well internationally as well. Um, I think this is something you should be excited about. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, and subscribe to save today and all my latest content. Uh, I know I said this last video, but thank you guys so much for helping us hit 10,000 subscribers for the third time. Hopefully this will be the last time, but even if not, I don't care. I'm still going to say thank you once again, but still only 49% uh, or actually 49% of the people that watch my videos on a regular basis are not subscribed. So a lot of you are just clicking on the videos on your homepage, coming in, watching them, not subscribing. Click that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. It helped me out a ton. It also shows me we have so, so, so much more room for these numbers to grow. You know, if only 51% of the people are subbed, then hey, we could have like 20,000 subs right now. That'd be awesome. Um, but with that being said, let's get right into this one. So Team Liquid has a lot of great news going on right now. Um, not only did Core JJ get his green card, um, not only is the full Team Liquid roster able to play together, um, not only is Bjergsen able to play with Core JJ, the reason why he wanted to come to Team Liquid in the first place, uh, not only is Han Sama able to play with Core JJ, the reason he wanted to come to Team Liquid in the first place. Um, you also have the fact that Ayla just had a couple of really, really good weeks in the LCS. Uh, and now a lot of people see him as clearly an LCS caliber support that gives Team Liquid a very, very valuable asset, which is an awesome thing to have for a team like Team Liquid that is spending so much money on their main roster. Uh, hey, having a valuable asset that you might sell off uh, and actually get some money back, especially after you just had to release Jensen and, and you know, get rid of him for pretty much nothing or, or actually nothing. Um, that's a great thing. But uh, there is even more good news. And, you know, they're coming off a 2 a week. They're the first place in the LCS. A ton of great stuff for Team Liquid. Um, but another piece of great news I thought came from this. After Team Liquid beat Evil Geniuses, Core JJ on his first day, his first game back, did the post-match interview. Obviously, there was there was no one else they were going to talk to. They were going to talk to Core JJ. Um, you know, here he is with Latigris. And... Uh, I wanted just this short little clip of the interview because I think it is a very, very interesting soundbite from him. Uh, and again, something I think is very, very meaningful. Um, I mean, we just started practicing as a team like a week ago, but I feel a really, really good. Um, past years, I always start thinking, I, I always, when I was thinking about my team, it was like, we always had a potential to be the really good team. Um, I don't feel like that anymore. I feel like we are already a good team and then it's not it's not a potential anymore. Potential is So that to me is an absolute banger banger quote um, and and you know he says hey I've played in a lot of teams that have had potential before and that's absolutely true. Team Liquid has had some great teams. They've had some teams that have won three games at Worlds in the group stage before and sometimes winning three games is enough but Again, like Core JJ says, those teams have always had potential. They've had Core JJ. They've had Double Lift. They've had Impact. They've had Jensen. They'd have a, they'd have a ton of great pieces. Maybe there'd been a weak point. Maybe there was somebody slumping. Maybe it was just a bad meta. Maybe um, they just didn't have players that, that performed that well internationally. Maybe they couldn't come together for whatever reason. They always had the potential to be great. They were usually pretty good, but they never really broke that barrier of great. Potential is awesome, but you actually have to make something of your potential. You can't just have potential. Having potential is not enough. You need to actually do something with that potential. Um, but like Core JJ says, 
the most interesting part of the the whole you know core jj coming back is is exactly what he says actually they've been scrimming with core jj for a while it sounds like him and ayla were switching in and out so they were kind of preparing for him to eventually get his green card so that you know should hopefully speed up um him coming back to the lcs and everything but the fact that he says he believes they are a great team is so exciting um because again TL has had good teams before. They've been so, so close before. And I think this is by far the most talented team. Liquid team, by far the most talented LCS team ever assembled. And we've had teams go to MSI finals. We've had teams go to world semifinals. We've had all of the teams last year performed well at Worlds. And I think this team, Liquid team, is head and shoulders above any team we had last year. Um, head and shoulders, uh, you know, above CLG that, that made it to MSI finals. TL that made MSI finals. Cloud9 that made world semis. So what could this team do? What is their potential? What is their ceiling? And also the fact of who is saying it. Core JJ has seen great teams. He has been around amazing teams before. He has won a world championship. You know, he knows what it takes to win. He knows what a great team looks like. He knows what it takes to be great. He knows what, you know, a great team looks like in scrims, practicing, all this stuff. And I think it's funny and interesting that he says, yeah, those the other team liquid teams, they, they weren't great. They were close. They had potential, whatever. But this team is different. And I think that's been what a lot of fans have been feeling, what a lot of fans have been thinking, but it is just spring split regular seasons. You know, you can never really make too much of it. And as an LCS fan, you always have this thing in like the back of your mind that's like, are things actually different this year? Should I actually be excited? Are we actually good this year? Or is this just the feeling I have at the beginning of every season of like, oh man, this season's going to be different. You know, this is the year of NA, this is the year of the LCS. Um, but I really do think Things are different this year. I think Core JJ and Han Sama coming together has a has potential to be really one of the best bot lanes in the world. Um, I think having Core JJ and Bjergsen together, uh, in my opinion, perhaps the two best LCS players of all time. I know Core JJ doesn't have like the resume of Double Lift and, and Double Lift for sure in the conversation, but like Core JJ is up there. He's been in a he's a top five player in LCS history, um, and and just in terms of talent, you know, right now probably the first or second best talent wise player in the LCS. Um, Getting him and Bjergsen together, having Santorin, who is amazing, and then having Bwipo, who has his whole, uh, you know, resume and, and career as well of, like, making it to a world finals and, and all these accomplishments and things. This team has a chance to be really, really scary, and, and I think that, and I, I think they are potentially a top five team in the world. I think they have one of the best bot lanes in the world. I think they have one of the best teams in the world, one of the best rosters, one of the best, you know, potential ceilings. I know there's tons of people that are like, oh, but the LPL, but oh, the LCK, and it's like... Look at what the LCS teams did at Worlds last year. A lot of those teams stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, especially in group stage, especially in best of ones with the, those LPL and LCK teams. And I think this Team Liquid team would shit on all the LCS teams from last year. Again, I don't really think it's that close. Um, but I love that Core JJ is on the same page. And I don't really think he's a guy who would like BS. You know, if, if he doesn't think TL is, is that great or that good yet, or maybe they have potential, I think he would just say that. I don't think, um, you know, he would just say like, oh yeah, this team is great. I, I don't think he says that lightly. I think he really, really believes in this team. And man, that has me excited. And then again, you throw in the fact that Champions Q is like popping off now and people are loving it and people are saying it's great practice. Um, you have a couple of good teams in the LCS as well that you can actually practice and work on things with like 100 Thieves, like Cloud9. Even I think Evil Geniuses is pretty good. FlyQuest coming out of nowhere. Um, I think this has a, the, a potential to be a great year for the LCS uh, and a great year for Team Liquid specifically. And I'm so excited, and I'm glad that it sounds like Core JJ is on board too. And I think that is really, really great news to hear. Uh, and that's why I wanted to get it out to you guys. But that is pretty much it for this video today. Definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how good do you think Team Liquid is? Do you think they are a top two, top five, top ten team in the world? Do you think they're overrated? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.